And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline, I get things done. That guy was cool. It's like that losing that guy. And I remember I saw these uh, pictures and videos of him where he was uh, real, real thin in the past. And I thought maybe he was like radical fasting or something. I, I didn't, I had no idea. No one had any idea other than his close family, but just what an interesting guy. And just what a sad loss. He was so brilliant. Like that speech that he gave, the, 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 the graduating class speech that he gave, where he's talking about all of the things that happened to you are preparing you for your life and preparing you for the great things that can happen to you and how you'll grow from them. Just his perspective. He was just such a brilliant guy. It's such, it sucks so hard that some assholes live forever. And he was one of them. You know, I, I put on my Instagram, you know, when you see a person that it was inspirational for so many. Have you ever seen that video, the Avengers movie? I'll really tear up if I talk about this. When there is a video that someone took from the audience where they see on screen and the whole audience goes crazy. If you want to reach true success, you need to constantly have that mindset of doing whatever it takes to improve and get better each and every single day. That way you get one step closer each and every single day to becoming the setter of your goals, becoming the champion of your life. It is all about that championship mentality. You want to wake up and constantly be striving to improve in any facet of your life that needs improvement. Whether it's you wake up earlier because you need to get more things done in the day, or if it's you got to put more time in your day to focusing on improving yourself, whatever it takes, you need to be as hungry as you possibly can for reaching that next milestone, that next step to reaching your goal. You need to do whatever it takes in order to reach those steps to pursue your goals and your passions to make sure that you become successful regardless of the situation. It is by no means going to be an easy ride. It's going to have its ups and downs, but know this. The sweetest taste you can ever have is that taste of victory. Yes, it's going to hurt when you're down on your face, only having to be able to look up because you've hit rock bottom. But once you get to the top, it's going to be the greatest feeling you've ever felt. Because you've gone through those lows and you've experienced those downs, Downs. You can channel that energy and push it towards going for your dreams, and succeeding. And once you succeed, all of that will come together and you'll realize everything was worth it. We know how to manage our life correctly and life doesn't come with a guidebook. It doesn't come with when you're in this condition, seek out these remedies, start exercising, uh, get together with your friends, tell them you love them, meet up and have dinner and hug each other, sleep well, drink water. You know, so many of us have a bad head start. I mean, and then starts a family of his own where you don't even know your grandfather. I mean, it's madness, right? Coming out of this stressful pocket, or maybe your dad goes to jail, or maybe your, your mom dies when you're young. All these things that happen to people where they have this bad start in these communities of people that think the same way. Crime and despair and sadness, and maybe just negative people. Annoying. Every day, people complaining about you. And you're stuck in the mud of humanity with people. It's real hard to engineer 350 million people out of that. You can take actions to make your life better and if everybody did that if everybody took actions to make their life a happier experience by doing those things by exercising eating well just trying to be nicer to people you know, the, the journey of jiu-jitsu is a fascinating one because unless you're someone who's, you know, a Salu Hibero or a John Jacques Machado or just a, a true master who's dedicated their entire life to it, it's so long. It's like if you're a guy who runs, you like to run, I like to run a mile three or four days a week, no big deal. But then, you know, your next door neighbor is an ultra marathon runner who's preparing for the, the Moab 240 where he's going to run 240 miles. You're just, you're never going to catch up the same amount of times and you should always defer to that person when you have questions about running. And that's how it is with jiu-jitsu like is, is a, there's levels to even to that so I always have questions so the journey is never over it's always long a better way to get out of an arm bar or a better way to set up a triangle or whatever it is there's so many variables there's so many situations and interactions and exchanges and entries and defenses and 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 way to chain moves together and the, the correct way to set something up to know that if you grab the lapel this way the guy's gonna try to shake it off that way and that exposes this which 
exposes that. And then the next defense will expose this. There's a lot of artists and comics. Um, I, I, I bet musicians as well, but we're writers for sure. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work. And you, you got to, and Pressfield talks about that in the most concise and beautiful way. And he labels it like an enemy. He calls it resistance, you know, and that you have to sit down and you have to overcome resistance and that the pro goes to work. And it doesn't matter if you're sick, doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro and you go to work. Just, it puts it in your head that this is what I do. This is what, and you have pride in that. And then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're, you're, you got, you look down the count, it says, I got a thousand words today. I put a thousand words in you. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, you're doing the work yeah. and out of that work, gems blossom, yeah. little things, but you might have a day where you just write nothing but dog shit. So what? Show up again tomorrow. And tomorrow out of that dog shit, the flower will emerge. You never know. And that's the only way to develop real, to, to really develop your potential 100% in anything. 